All right, this problem asks us to solve the following inequality and graph the solution. So when I go about solving an inequality, I use um, the same rules that I use for solving an equation with the exception that if I multiply and divide both sides of the inequality by a negative number, then I would switch the direction or the sense of the inequality. So when I go about solving this, then my first step would be to simplify each side. So on the left hand side, I have uh, a distributed property where I'm going to distribute and multiply everything by this negative 2. So I'll end up with 4x negative times a positive gives me a negative or a minus 6x and then negative times a negative gives me a positive plus 2. On the right hand side I just have 5 minus 2x, 2 unlike terms so there's nothing I could do to simplify. Coming back to the left I have uh, like terms I can combine 4x minus 6x is negative 2x plus 2 is greater than 5 minus 2x. I'm starting to see something. I have a negative 2x on both sides, and that means when I went to do my next step, which would be to eliminate the x term on one side, and I added 2x, and I did the same for the other side, I'd end up eliminating the x term on both sides of that inequality at the same time. So when we end up with no variables in our final inequality, we have to look at it and determine if it is always true or never true. And I look at this, 2 is greater than 5. That's something that is never true. When you reach a situation and you have something that is never true, the answer is going to be no solution. So we write those words, no solution. And to graph no solution, that would be an empty number line, nothing graphed or shaded in. What that's telling me is that if I go back to my original inequality, there are no x values that I could choose that would make it true. So the answer to this problem is no solution. I want to show you one other problem that's similar in that it has uh, the x values drop out as the problem is solved. So let's take a look at this problem here. This problem asks us to solve the inequality again and graph the solution on the number line. So again, as I start to solve this, my first step would be to work it like I would an equation. Um, and I might choose at this point to eliminate the denominators. Uh, to clear the denominators, you might remember, we multiply by the lowest common denominator. I have a 3, a 6, and a 2, so the lowest common denominator between those is 6. So I'm going to choose to clear the fractions by multiplying both sides of the inequality by 6. And remember that means each term on each side gets multiplied by that 6. So I'll have 6 times 2 thirds x greater than or equal to 6 times 1 6 x minus 6 times 1 plus, oops, plus 6 times one-half x. So each term was multiplied by the 6. And now I'm going to go ahead and do some canceling to clear out the denominators. So when I do some canceling here, I'll end up with 4x in here. I end up with just 1x. 6 times 1. And here some canceling. And I end up with 3x. So now I have 4x on the left is greater than or equal to x plus 3x is 4x minus 6. Again, I'm getting to the point where I see the x term on both sides of the, of the inequality uh, is the same. So when I try to eliminate it, it will actually be eliminated from both sides at once. So again, just like the last problem, we end up with an inequality with no variables in it. So I look at this and I say, is this never true or always true? In this case, it's always true. So for my answer, I write the words all real numbers. And then to graph that, it will be a number line. And I want to uh, show that I'm um, shading in the entire number line. So I might make 
just another arrow on top darken it in show the arrow has to show that I've sh shaded in or indicated the entire number line all real numbers that's my solution and that tells me if I go back to the original inequality I could choose any real number for x and it would uh, make that inequality true.